Hey, it's the Hardy Airy here, and today we are going to talk about cups. Yeah, we're talking about cups. Okay, most specifically, we're talking about Starbucks cups today. So, I thought about going to Starbucks and, you know, getting something with a red cup, um, so that I could have it for this video, but you know what? I don't like Starbucks enough to go buy a drink from them. So, I didn't do it. So, we're just gonna use a regular cup. And y'all know what I'm talking about, so it doesn't really matter. So, you all know. So, I'm not gonna say for those of you who don't know, because you all know. And if you don't, look it up. Everybody else has posted what it is. But, you all know about how Starbucks went from doing holiday cups in the winter time to doing red holiday cups, but they don't have any designs on them like they used to. Um, honestly, even if I were to go to Starbucks still, that wouldn't phase me. But apparently it has phased a lot of people trust here in time. And that's really pathetic. It really is. First of all, it's pathetic because there are way bigger issues in the world right now to worry about. So, how about instead of worrying about whether your cup has a design on it like this cup does, or if it did just plain red with your green goddess thing figure on it. Okay? So that's my first thing. And the second thing is Starbucks has never claimed to be of any kind of religious type. Um, it has never said that we are affiliated with anything. Um, never really said Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays on their cups before. It's always just been designs. Uh, well, they may have had holiday, Happy Holidays, but I don't think they did. Um, so... How is taking pictures off that were probably more expensive to print in the first place an issue for Christmas? It's not. I saw a picture of one of the previous Starbucks cups that had designs on it. There was a spaceship. I feel like you should have had more of a problem with the fact that there was a spaceship on your Christmas cup. It didn't having nothing okay you can if it bothers you that much take a marker and mark on your own cup it's not hard it's really not get over it it's not that big of a issue it's just a cup it's not a war on Christmas like Josh Fierenstein is that it is it, it's not I don't see how you can think it is okay so there's the first thing and the second thing is, you're all aware of hashtag Merry Christmas Starbucks, where you go in and you say your ma name is Merry Christmas. Well, first of all, you're a liar. Everybody knows your name is not Merry Christmas. That is just ridiculous. And if your name is Merry Christmas, well, you should ask your parents if they were high when they named you, because they probably were. Um, unless you were born on Christmas. And then even so, your name's probably not Merry Christmas. It might be Mary. Or Christian. Or something along those lines. But it's not Merry Christmas. So there's that. Um. So you're lying. And the other thing is you're supporting Starbucks at that point. Which is why I, I I have my own reasons for not supporting Starbucks. And those reasons have nothing to do with Christmas. Um, so, yeah, I don't... Sp I have bought uh, Starbucks before. And if somebody were to go to Starbucks and be like, Here, I got you this. I'm not going to say, Oh, no. No, no, no. I don't like Starbucks that much. Um... So, that's something that I'm, well, I'm not going to reject it if it's free, but I'm not going to spend my money on Starbucks, and it has nothing to do with Christmas. So, yeah. But I wasn't going, I'm not going to go in there now 
and say my name is Merry Christmas just to do this thing to prove Christianity because um, first of all it's not proving Christianity in the least and second that's really pathetic and third then I have to give them money I would have to be giving them I, I wasn't even willing enough to g give them money so I could get the cup to just show in the video I'm sure as heck not about to go spend my money to go tell them my name is Merry Christmas that's pathetic it's, it's, ugh. not to mention most of the Starbucks that's around here don't ask you your name they just here you go ma'am so yeah that wouldn't work in my area anyways. There are way more important things to worry about than if your cup has a spaceship on it or not, or stars. You know, for the most part, I've seen previous Josh Fierenstein videos. I've watched quite a few of them. I, not, I can't say I've watched them all because I don't care enough to watch them all. But, you know, I've seen several where he's had a good point and he was right. But this, I, first of all, I found out about the uh, red cup situation via my local news before I found out about this Joshua Fierenstein video. But when I did finally see the video, I was just like, you're an idiot, right? But then I was like, oh yeah, it's big news. He's just kind of going with it. Then I found out that he's the one who started it and I was just like... I actually went to Facebook and unliked his page because so, I, at the point, so since then I've went back and liked it because I'm still interested in seeing his future videos, but for the most part, I'm just, I was just like, what? You're a pastor and you're saying this is an issue. It was, it was really, quite frankly, ridiculous. And I've seen other videos about it on YouTube and I was just like, I actually saw a parody of it. Um, before I saw the actual video and I thought that that video was being serious um, and then somebody told me it was a parody and I was like oh okay good it's not the war on Christmas the cup before it had nothing to do with Christmas in the first place nothing and this whole movement of Merry Christmas Starbucks is pathetic and the f fact that Josh Feinstein even gave Starbucks money in the first place um, before he found out about the red cup baffles me it really does it baffles me that he supported Starbucks as this big Christian figure before the red cup because there's been other issues uh, with Starbucks not doing things with Christianity before this had happened. Things that he has posted videos about being adamantly against. So I, I'm, I'm still completely baffled and I'm still completely baffled that he's still outraged by this. I've seen videos where he's like talking to people on news about this and I was just like, you're still serious like yes now I, I can see you know being a little frustrated I get that I, I get those the little frustration about it but you are way too outraged about a cup and you need to get over it just get over it. there are way bigger things and way bigger attacks on Christianity right now than a cup that a non-religious company has produced. Yes. The hearty airy. What, 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 what?